Welcome back, everyone. For playing Lost Cases of Sherlock Holmes again. Again. Yes, we're now in episode five. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun. This is it still has. Golem. I'm yes. still Spider. So, ah, uh, well, Stealthy Golem, the Spider Cookie. But yeah. we can just go by nicknames so at this point. So formal. Yeah, we, like, we know each nicknames. other so well now. That's Spoods. This is... <laughs> What's me? I'm just stealthy, I guess. Yeah. Or usually. Spooder. I hear that yeah. a lot in your place. Yeah, Spooder. It's co it's cozy. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Me for my own. There's so many <laughs> different ones. The nickname Spooder has been around, like, for either about as long as I've been streaming or even longer. Because hmm. I, I know the first person I remember using it, and I knew them before streaming, so. Ah, I see. Yeah, so in that case, Spooder is kind of, well, one of the main nicknames. I see. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's nice and cute. Then it also incorporates the double O's of cookie, which is kind of neat. Ah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Spookooktor. Nice. <laughs> what now? Because that's that's not as like as a good of a a name. Spookooktor. No, Spookooktor. It's a Nordic. <laughs> if you live in Sweden, that would be like cool. But yeah, like I have so many nicknames. Mm. But that's just how it goes. Yeah, well, I have some different ones, but I just haven't had the one, the one nickname, you know, just a lot of different ones, like idiot, income poop, nitwit is one I hear today, pleb also. So it's mm. like one of those, but I'm not comfortable with one yet. <laughs> how about doofus? Doofus is good. Doofus uh, appeals to my intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> and the other ones don't. Not yet. <laughs> well, if there would be anything, it would be the pleb because it kind of you would. It basically would mean that you're not politically uh, apt or anything, or knowledgeable. I guess so. I think that's a pleb. Uh, a plebeian. Well. In the way the I've heard good, it though. used as not necessarily political. Okay. I wonder if that was the term. Oh, now that was the idiot. I think the original origins of idiot would be one that is not knowledgeable of any politics or whatever. Yeah, we can. I can check that out later, maybe. Yeah. Um, Please, it will be something else. I'm. I miss uh, remembered. Actually, heard of idiot. Um, okay. Having its roots in, I think, music? As in... Uh, yeah, I'll have issues translating it. Because okay. I learned about it in school. But, um... Yeah. Comes from the Greek noun, idiotes, a private person, individual, as opposed to the state, a private citizen, as opposed to some of the political office, a common man, lacking professional skill or a layman, and skilled ignorance. Okay, yeah, so, not necessarily political, but just uneducated, yeah. ignorant. Yeah. It goes around the curve around that idea. The plebeian would be something else, then. Let's see. I mean, this is important. Mm -hmm. um, the word plebs, the singular collective noun is genitive. It's plebis. Plebis. <laughs> Plebeians were not a monolithic social class. Those who reside in the city and were part of the four urban tribes are called something called the plebs urbana. Blah, blah, blah. So, monolithic social class. Social class? Yeah, just being low class. In ancient Rome, the plebeians were the general body of the free Roman citizens, not patricians. Commoners. Average Joes. Unimportant 
A holds. <laughs> the so wayward you will. As an average Joe. Yeah. Average Jesus. Byron Tutwell, Esquire, is dead. His last words said that his entire estate will belong to anyone, family or not. Clever enough to find his hidden will. What Holmes finds is that Tutwell Manor is crawling with suspects. And where there is a will, there is a way. <laughs> I see. Did you see what they... Yeah. Yeah. They're killing me, Holmes. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, my father, Byron Tutwell Esquire, succumbed to heart failure in his beloved private library at Tutwell Manor. A bibliophile and eccentric, Bibli. he loved books and word games. As I recall, his hobby was running the Chesterfield Bookshop in the Merleybourne district near Baker Street. His last act was to hide his will, saying that his entire estate and all his assets will belong to anyone, family or not, clever enough to find the will. Yes, he we were He gave no that. clues. He only joked that where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, that's true. And a punster too. Heaven. Yes, a punster. Now someone has ransacked the library, and the police cannot find the will. I wonder, has someone stolen the will to claim it later? Miss Tutwell, if you would show us your father's private library, we shall begin there. That also. We yeah. What? What does the will even say? Because if, like, it depends on who finds the will, then like. Yeah, I could say to the find to the will finder. Could be to the person that first signs his name here. Could be to the whatever. There's a lot of I things. Guess. And and it it's video silly. games. Yeah. It's video game, but it's a, it they basically what they wanted, Spider, they had a pun idea <laughs> and they made a case around it. Yeah. Is it I like that's it. my theory. It does feel like it. Now we're Sorry. looking for randos. And what we're looking for is a flower. Now you can be her. You look like her. <laughs> Do I now? Um, yes. please excuse the mess. Mrs. Hampton, the housekeeper, has quit unexpectedly. Mm. Ooh, hey. Only my father and Jamison, our trusted butler, knew the safe's combination. How much money was stolen? None. My father kept no money in there, only signed editions from the Chesterfield bookshop. He was especially fond of his old friend Lewis Carroll's work. I see. It was a very small I safe to keep signed books in, but okay. Bottles. More bottles. There will be one more bottles. Ooh, a chair thing. A hand shovel. A hand shovel, of course. Hand shovel. Gotta say, considering we need a lot more, more things should have been poking out at this point. Oh, my father's look mustache. At, look at that is guy. A, is a voracious eater. Hmm. That was a cool. Now that's the guy who wrote the will. Oh no! No, he he might have eaten it. How odd. There's one key with letters engraved on it. Fleeced shirt. What on earth could that mean? I don't know. Select pairs of letters to swap their positions. Unscramble the word to reveal the secret of the key. Fred Scheitel? What does that mean? Fred Scheitel? Fred Scheitel, what does that mean? Uh, like, this would not be a German word, but, um, Scheitel would be, um, like, where you part your hair. Oh, it's your 
pot here. What about this one, Fred Shietl? <laughs> so, what are we doing here? We're looking for a word? Yeah. This is gonna be tough. Yeah. Did the E get more? Oh, the E actually just got locked in there when we did it correctly. Okay. Urdshite. I mean, it probably won't start with a vowel. Um, have we tried the D? I think so. Um, R, F. Let's start with further. H. C. Oh, C. Oh. C. It starts with. Yeah. So. That was an H? Yes, C H. Okay. Shit, so we need a. It could be a name. Cheddar cheese. Look at you. Chester? Yeah. Chester. Chesterfield. Yes. That took me longer. But it was looking so weird. Could a man who enjoyed the word games be telling us that the key to the mystery lies at his Chesterfield bookshop? Could he? <gasps> Hat. Bottle. No, not yet. Oh. Are you I awake? recognize that cap and handshawl as belonging to Mr. Mapes, the groundskeeper. Mapes. Mr. Mope. Mapes. Mopey. We still need to find. Um, <clears throat> Langston's favorite wine. He's my brother. A near do well. Who yes, he... an evil, a, a nefarious person. Like him. Okay. I think was it like a, the never do well? I I was, I remember people told me about this. The what the oh. near do well actually is. It's some lore. Okay. Let me look it up while you're doing this. Uh, who believes he should be our father's heir by default. So. I don't think we found the pipe or the cap yet, so we'll have to look for those. Continue Preferably. with cookies. A worthless, good-for-nothing person. It origins from a uh, uh, contract of never do well, yes. Yeah. Near has been used in what shortened from since blah, 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 notably in the north of England and Scotland. Near do well itself originated in Scotland. An early citation in Alan Ramsey's playwright collection of Scots Proverbs, 1737. So just a never do well, a good for nothing, yeah. an plum ploop. What did you say about the game? Oops. Uh, we still are looking for the hat and the pipe, so if we find yeah, the last so either thing, or. we shouldn't click on it yet. Yeah, so we're looking for either or. That's true, so... We should... I see the hat. What? Awesome. Alright. Now we can go hog wild. Pick the last one, I spider. Oh, I'm I haven't seen it sit yet. here and not care. No. Did you see it? <laughs> no. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet either. So. Are you know oh, it's here. It's the pipe as well. They are in the same awesome. scenario. Looks like we have discovered a new game mechanic. They mm -hmm. could be the same one. Well, I see it's, it's here. The window. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a classic break-in. I like that it took the whole window out. It was just yeah. open. No, I say, Pfft. yeah, this seems broken. <laughs> yeah, you broke it. Yeah, yeah, we're just taking the entire Ms. window. Dutwell, you shall accompany me and Doctor Watson to the bookshop. Why do you need me there? Because, like your brother, you would gain much from finding your father's will, wouldn't you? You shall accompany me, woman. Mm -hmm. To the bookstore. The night armor is here as well. Yep, it followed us and it's blocking the door. I think that's the And entrance. the quill. No, that was not the quill, that was a spear. <laughs> wow. 
The sphere was a gift from Sir Reginald Graves, a member Another of Reginald. My, yes, a member of my father's equi antiquarian, uh, anti antiquarian, 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 yeah, antiquarian book society. So. That's a second Sir Reginald in this uh, game. Yes. Yes, Reginald gets around. We're looking for eggs. Is that an egg? No, no, spider let me... Yes. Ah! Oh, the egg finder spider! Why? No, no, why? Why? Hard <laughs> yeah, just why? Just why? Says question. the penguin. Why weigh a hard-boiled egg? Holmes, the man was eccentric indeed. Put it gently. Yeah, don't worry about how people are keeping like, apples and bananas on their bookshelf in their mm -hmm. dressing room. But a hard-boiled egg on a scale, that's just going too far. Yes. Um, that will be the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. No, of course, that was just... Um, Fred Ball again is there. Three newspapers. Oh, newspapers. Well, we can find these quickly. Well, not yet. <laughs> I the love that style. Of the oak. Oh, his hairstyle is. Well. Um, a dreadful novel written by a destitute scribbler, Cyrus Druck. I hope my father would pay to have it published. My father refused. Cyrus Druk. Druk. I love that. Druk. I mean, like, that is the German word for print. Yeah. So. Don't know about Norwegian, but. Yeah. You said for a friend? No, print. 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 Print or um, pressure? We say. Uh, we use the English one too much, so we just say print. Print. Okay. Print. Yeah, in German, a printer is a drucker. Drucker. Um, what would we say for that? I would say just printer forever. That's. Uh, I don't even know what's the right one to say. A bust. You found a bust. Yes. Quill King. Is this newspaper? No. 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 Okay. I wasn't asking you, but it, uh, it's a fun. book. Okay. To me, they're all reading material. <laughs> they're reading. I found it. So, two more quills, one more newspaper. Yes. Um. Uh oh. Have you doubts about the quills? Whoops. Not anymore. One quill, one newspaper. It's probably outside or something, you know? There's one pretty person outside, like, ah, I got a newspaper! <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna steal it from them. He's like, I got it. I found you! That's my will. Is this a quill? No, no it was another pipe. pipe! Yeah, bonus pipe. Double pipes! No. Double pipe action. Is it newspaper behind here? Nope, nope. Sorry, I had to try. Hmm. Ah, she's bringing out the big ones. Mm -hmm. Yes. That yep. looks like a newspaper. Yeah. Uh huh. It is the one outside. It was. Yeah, there it is. Those newspapers were delivered. Daily by Tommy, an errand boy employed by my father. What? It, it was 
the in a. It wasn't the the baby yeah. wagon. Yeah, we took uh, it from a baby. They were just trying yes. to you know read up on current affairs. Yes, I, I'm confused, but I mean hidden object game. So the other the other cool thing is that we just left the kid there. Yeah. I don't see anybody yeah. responsible for the kid. They were minding I mean, their business, like yeah, leave me outside, woman. Let me read my newspaper. <laughs> Let me get the fresh sun. Yes. Quill, li, 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 li. where could you be, Quill? Cruquilla the Ville. This is gonna be weird. I can feel it. Yeah. Feeling my bones. Muscle legs. Is it going to be a ceiling quill? I don't know. A ceiling quill, the traditional. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where quills go, right? They quills come from ceilings habitats. because quills are feathers. They are yeah. birds. In yeah. And for that reason, they should be ceiling quills. Yes. I agree. Yes. Impeccable quills natural laundry. habitat would be the ceiling. It obviously. would be. that They would magnetize. They would have polars. Yes. Yeah, I agree. You're smart. Mm -hmm. That's why yes, we're investigating. We oh, did you find it? Yeah, it was blue for some reason. Okay. These appear to be the same quills used to etch out this yellow, series. Yellow eyes, here. by the way. Didn't really yes. realize that. I guess it's just a very light shade of green. Yellow. Perhaps another word game. Look at the letters next to the figures on those book spines. Another game? Two games in one? Are we being spoiled? We are. Place the letters at oh. the bottom so they correspond to the correct symbols in the encrypted massage. Okay. And the bottom? And this this one. Yeah, but we need to look. Oh. No, are you sure no, to skip the puzzle spider? Can I place? What do you want to do? Uh I wanted to point at these. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. Okay, so it's actually just following that order. Yes. They're funny looking. Okay, we, let's go with the usual Wheel of Fortune knowledge here. N first. Do we find an N on the list? Yes, we do. It's like crooked, the crooked right leg. And um, this... No, not that guy. No. Crooked and um, crooked, crooked. Um, no ends. Um, I found a T. There. What about O? I got my S. Um, I don't see an O. This one's I. Um, yeah, that that's my. Oh yeah, another T as well. School patent and and another one. No, you found that one. Dingus. <laughs> oh no. What's uh? Is this? Is this like is a? Yeah. Yeah. So B is a ass. What, is, what was the first word there be? Oh, there we go. Yes. Is it Tutley? No. Was it Tut? Just took a chance. I'm just trying to guess for some dumb reason. There's so many things to guess. Mm. It's just fun. 
Oh, there was an end there. No, there wasn't. I'm dumb, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just speeding good old goof. There's a V. Stop it, spider. Let me play video games. <laughs> no, let me... What? What am I doing wrong? Okay. Oh, that was his arm hanging down is. Now I see it. This one. Fucking, what am I doing? Yes, it was there. Okay. Chart. Uh, could it be a... Uh... Hmm. War? What the hell is that? Wharf? <laughs> Who is an A? No, 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 it's not an A. Not an O? What is that it's one? It's not an O. What is that one? The first word. It was... Could it be... <gasps> not the word I'm thinking about, at least! <laughs> so it's weird. <laughs> I like it when, when we figure out the E at the end and not in the middle, like, well, I hope it's not that word. Very, uh, very upfront. There, okay, so this is back to the, back to the pun again, where there's a wheel, there's a way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Playing Wheel of Fortune really paid off. Yeah? There's that phrase again, Holmes. I know, penguin. Okay, it's time. All these. Okay. Is there not a dog uh, thing for all the three dogs in this portrait? Vest. That's the dog, I think. <laughs> so, vest and uh, brown eyes, or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? Estate employee. Oh, now we gotta, like, think. Mm -hmm. Curly here. Beard. Collar. That's a collar. Nope, oh, collar, because this guy, aw. Curly hair? No, brown eyes. Yeah, hey, that's But that guy's collar doesn't count. You see the crossed out the top. Oh, it doesn't so. count. But he's uh, he's got a cool collar. Yeah, but it doesn't count. Yeah, but it doesn't count. I know it's fine. I'll I'll deal with it, Spider. I'll get over it. Um. Will you though? I will try. Housekeeper. So. This guy has a collar as well. But I guess... The brown eyes? Mm. Okay. Well, that means that they just have to change. Wait, am I not done? Nope. Oh, this guy. Who else is not highlighted? They all seem highlighted to me. This guy? Well, it could be that one of them would work in two different spots. Oh, yeah, that could be the thing. Most exemplary. Okay. Because a state employee butler. Now that we've correctly... Okay. Dog food for the dog. That should be pretty... Uh, yeah. Pretty noticeable. Daughter with a keychain. Club member. Old guy with a spear. Old guy kills. Wine for the red guy. Manuscript for the uh, ruffles, newspaper for the errand boy, flower housekeeper, safe for the butler, hand shovel for groundskeeper. Let's see here. This guy, cigar. Yep. It's not the officer ruffles. You got it. You got it. It's the compass daughter. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Oh, chainsaw, no violin bow. Perfect. Same thing. Bucket. Righto. 
The shoe nice keeper. Was it the dog? Oh. I think it might have been it's the dog. The dog ate the well. <laughs> Again, the animal does it. Looking like it. Yes. Nope, fine, it wasn't the no! dog. No! The <laughs> butler found the will for his own, of course. The bulter. I mean, that would make sense. Yeah. Jameson the butler staged the break-in, hoping to find the will, but he gave himself away by leaving the safe open. Since Tutwill entrusted only Jameson with its combination and Tutwill is dead, Jameson may as well have left his own signature on the wall. Simplicity itself. So Jameson found the will? Not at all. He found the safe filled with old books. But then where is the will? Elementary. Remember, where there's a will, there's a way. Miss Tutwell, Dr. Watson, let us return to the bookshop. The will awaits. Oh. We're not done? What is this Apparently madness? Not. Encore! Remember Tutwell's clue, where there's a will, there's a way? Let us more closely examine that illustration from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. What happens now? Hidden in this illustration are clues that correspond to objects in this bookstall as well. But what is their significance? Shakespeare. What? What are we... I'm confused. I don't know. Are we... Apparently we're looking for Shakespeare? I'm confused. We're looking for Shakespeare. Uh oh. Actually looking for Shakespeare. Now there's a will. William Shakespeare, to be precise. Oh! Wow. Oh, I see. Oh. Press the button. Scales. So like a dragon motif or something somewhere. Like, that kind of looked like scales, yeah. Nope. Oh, and that scales. Mm -hmm. There's a will. There's a scale. No, a way. Away. Away. Fucking. The scales. Oh, Holmes, what a horrid pun. It was cleverly horrid. An egg? <laughs> and how does the egg tie into the matter then? To do with the boiled egg. You crack, you crack it, it open. It. Yes. That's not a pun. You cracked the code. Nice founding. And you hammer the bad pun into submission. What was the? Can we get the explanation for the hammer again? You you crack the egg and you find the will in the egg. Is that it? Miss Tutwell, smash that good egg, Mr. Shakespeare, with that hammer, if you please. Oh, I see. Oh, the egg, the head of the bus, the my egg head. Will. But my father intended his fortune clever. for anyone clever enough to find the will. That was actually pretty Congratulations, Mr. funny. Holmes. That obviously would be you. On the contrary, Miss Tutwell, the will is yours. After all, you were the only person clever enough to invite me into this case. Wow. Congratulations. Nice. <laughs> Just patting nice yourself on the back. Off. Yeah. It's like, I solved this. No, no, you're the one who is smart. Because you're smart enough to call the smartest person in the land. <laughs> so you win. But I'm, you know. And I'm altruistic as well, so I win even more because I give away. No. Yeah. That was fun. They had a little bit of extra. I see they're getting tricky on us, huh? Yep. That was fun, though. That was a oh, clever. I, I actually... Though. I think that was, I think that was clever, the last part. I might be dumb, but I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I appreciate it that. It was fun. Yeah, I appreciate it. It was like a bonus puzzle. Yeah, it was. It was uh, With an extra horrible one. puns. Yes, horrid puns. And I think it may be from now on, maybe they'll just start uh, throwing some uh, curves and wrenches mm. into our game. Yeah, like additional puzzles. 
Yeah. Maybe eventually additional locations. I don't know. Maybe finding 50 items. <laughs> and we're blindfolded. <laughs> In that case, I'm not sure how a hidden object game would work, but... Uh, well, yes, because everything is hidden. <laughs> Just find anything. Yeah. But you need to find the right thing. How does it feel? I mean... I... I don't think that would be a good idea for a game. No. Okay. All the helmets are found. Seven helmets. out of seven. Helmets. He does wear helmets. He needs to protect his noggin. It's not a helmet. It is. It's not. It's a deer tussler. Uh, close enough, but it, it's not a helmet. I know. Let me be who I am. No. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Appreciate the... Um, Views. Every view is one noodle. Um, to eat. So, if you want any idea of how money is going. 50 views, I eat 50 noodles. <laughs> I would need more than that. We will upload more videos to make me yep. have enough food. You can save a life here. Yes, by the power of noodles. The power of noodles and views combined. You also can save a life. <laughs> yes, so. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this series, don't forget to like the video and also comment and stuff. And if you aren't subscribed yet, then what are you doing? The subscribe button is right there, just click it. That's now you're putting too much pressure on it. See now it, now they don't right want there. to. Yeah, You'll find but it. It's a you'll... hidden object game. <laughs> it's a hidden object. <laughs> See that's that's clever again. So we've found a lot of hidden objects. Now can you find the hidden subscribe button? <laughs> see it's see now you did on it this smart. Page. Yeah. If what if you can go next stage if you do you'll get a small uh, there's ruster yeah but yes can you find the subscribe button mm. is it under Reginald is it uh look I don't know over there no huh where could it be <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was under my cat. Okay. Well, we should check there next I... time. We're lost for words. We've been going late. Um, yes. So um, we should uh, say the proper goodbyes. And that will just be in, uh, a goodbye from me. Yes. Goodbye. She's just nodding, so that's I guess that's <laughs> that's her way to say goodbye, so I did say goodbye. Yeah, you did. Okay. So Bye. Bye. <laughs>